There's a one in three chance that a megaquake will hit the Pacific Northwest in the next 50 years. And experts say the region's just not ready for it. Well, a megaquake doesn't have a precise definition. In my mind, I'd think it'd be an earthquake bigger than magnitude eight, one that breaks a stretch of ground 50 miles long or so and therefore causes a lot of damage. The new findings show that the fault running from California to Canada is more complex than thought. Oregon State University marine geologist Chris Goldfinger and his team found that the Cascadia subduction zone has at least four segments that control earthquake size and activity. I mean, most fault systems are segmented, and, and the idea for that Cascadia was just a single monolithic fault with no segmentation had sort of, had sort of taken hold just because we didn't have enough information to say otherwise. And, and so now it looks like Cascadia is really behaving much more like other fault systems of its type. Uh, and we would really expect it to be uh, segmented the way it seems to be. When you have a truly, a truly great earthquake like the 2004 earthquake in Sumatra, you know that could that earthquake could have been smaller and it could have the rupture could have stopped shorter than it did, but it just kept going. There was apparently nothing to stop it, and and that's that's the way most faults really behave. Whether they're actually triggering each other or whether there's just you know nothing, no energy available to stop the earthquake. Is, is actually an active area of research. We're not really certain at all how that works. Goldfinger's findings suggest that in the next 50 years, the likelihood of a megaquake being triggered in the region is one in three. This simulation shows how downtown Seattle would fare in a magnitude seven quake. Any minute there could be an earthquake, but it's a long-term problem. Well, yeah, we uh, expect to have earthquakes here in Seattle, and we have several kinds of earthquakes we're worried about. One are the megaquakes, which would break the coast all the way from Northern California to Canada, um, the magnitude 9, 9.2 earthquake. The last megaquake in Seattle was 300 years ago, a magnitude 9 off the coast. Vidali says it would have caused a lot of damage if Seattle had actually been there. And we're not really safe because it's only been 300 years. Vidali's group, along with the USGS and NOAA, are working on placing instruments in Oregon and Washington that could send off warning signals within seconds of earthquakes hitting offshore. We're always hoping to see patterns for the big earthquakes coming, but so far we haven't spotted reliable patterns. We don't think um, we'll see the earthquake coming if it comes anytime soon. The only thing that indicates danger are other earthquakes. If there were a magnitude seven earthquake today, we'd know it's much more dangerous than usual for the next couple of days because earthquakes trigger more earthquakes. Big earthquakes also have a chance of setting off volcanoes and tsunamis, adding even more fuel to this region already labeled the Ring of Fire. For Discovery News, I'm Casey D. Gardner.